Pablo. The last one. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you, senorita. Senora, not senorita. Senor Angelica Chavez. I am Captain Velez, Lieutenant Esparza. You are the owner of this post? Yes, my husband and I. I'd like to speak to him. Oh, I'm sorry he's away. I'm all alone. It is very dangerous for a woman to be alone. Especially a beautiful one. All the more reason you're welcome, gentlemen. Unfortunately, we must move on after we've finished our business here. Oh, business? Our orders are to inspect all trading posts. A mere formality, of course. Won't you come in, please? The stand and see that the horses are watered and fed. Have Sergeant Vincent take a few men and look around. Yes, Captain. If I knew what you were looking for, perhaps I could help you. Guns. We don't sell guns. Somebody does. I don't think I understand. Someone is selling smuggled rifles to the Yaki. And you suspect me? I suspect everyone. Got company. Friends of yours? They trade with us sometimes. We are here on mission of importance. It can be made easier by our friends. White man, great friends, with rifles? The red man also carries guns. No good. No shoot. Where did you get this? We find them on the trail of the big wagons. How far from here? Mm, one day. This could be what we're looking for. They've got several of them. You come here for ammunition? No. We have come for the traitor. The traitor is not here. <laughs> Take it on me. They're not permitted inside the building. They want to know if we're telling the truth. Why should they doubt my word? I guess they have their reasons. What do you want with the traitor? We have come to kill him. 
Why do you wish to kill him? My people had a sickness of the eyes. He sold us this medicine. It's changed for gold, much gold. Look at it. This stuff is not for the eyes? My husband is not a doctor, Captain. We do not sell medicines and... The trader sold it. Our children and many of our men have become blind. Whom do you wish to believe? The Indian or me? Go back to your village. Tell your people I will find this man, and if he is guilty, he will be punished, according to the law. Our law says he must die. Nombre Maharat, estaje. We spoke the truth. The traitor is not here. Go back to your village. We wait for the traitor. You have your orders? Go back to the village. We will kill the traitor. The rurales will not stop us. Lieutenant? Nagua, Nagua. Well, Captain, what's your order? Well, wait a little while until I can find out what... Where is your husband? He's away on business. Better start praying he doesn't come back now. a very peculiar thing, Captain. Hmm? There are tracks of three wagons here where there is no road. Who drives a wagon into the trees unless there is something to hide? What cut it? Well, I don't see any cut trees, sir. The wagons were heavy when they came in. Come with me. They stop here, and many men are busy there, you see? The wagons are very light when they leave. And there are many mule tracks there leading to the north. The Yankees live to the north. That's what I was thinking. What do you think, Captain? I think I'll have another talk with the senora. How many wagons do you have? One. We found the tracks of many wagons in the trees. I know nothing about that. Now, what do you know about this? It's a trick. That's the bottle you got from the Indian. A trick. No, senora. All right. My husband did sell them the medicines, but they did not tell us it was for the eyes. And it didn't occur to you to ask. I'm sorry that anyone was hurt. Gun running is a profitable business. It could explain your perfumes and your wardrobe. You're wrong! You lied about the medicine, senor. I think you're lying about the guns, too. Maybe she didn't know about the guns. I doubt that. How long has your husband been gone? Where is he supposed to meet the Yaki? Where is the meeting place? Listen, you little fool. Hundreds of people may die unless I find those guns. Where is the meeting place? I don't know what you mean! Captain, you come. Keep her here. Captain, we have found a way to peace without war. It is the way of an old woman. Kaita, too many of your people Goal is more important than life. It would be true of this trader. If it would be true of anybody. If he lost this way of the making goal, 
it would be worse punishment than death. We will burn his place with all his goods. He will be forced to leave our land. The tree dies when the roots are dead. You say you found the guns on the trail of the big wagons? Where did the trail lead? There, in the trees. Vincent. Yes, Captain. Tell the troops that what is to happen is my decision. Burn it down. I apologize for the captain. You stood by and let him hurt me. What can I do? He's my commanding officer. He's a stupid fool. He's still my commanding officer. Senora, choose the things you will need for traveling. You're coming with us. Coming with you? We should join Sandoval and his men in two days. Then we can spare her an escort back to Turango. But my husband. We'll tell him where you are when we catch him. I refuse to go. I'm afraid you haven't any choice. Are you threatening me with force, Captain? Necessary, Senora. It will be. Very well. Esparza, get some clothes. You can ride in and hurry. Put me down. Put me down. The trader will not come again. We go back to our village in peace. There can be no peace anywhere as long as the Yaquis make war. They are not my people. I cannot stop their fighting. You can help. But wait. The trader you came to kill is furnishing guns to the Yaqui. Help us to find those guns. Give me a guide into the stronghold of the Yaqui and perhaps there will be peace. You will guide the white man into the country of the Yaquis. Let the white man find the Yaquis for himself. You will guide the white man into the country of the Yaquis. She said us. your name? Juan Pedro. You will be paid the same as the troopers. I do not want your money. I go to obey my father. That is all. As you wish. You ready, senora? <laughs> <laughs> Mount up, men. Why didn't he leave with the rest of them? He's going with us. Are you crazy? Maybe, but I'm still your superior officer. 
We're leaving, Senora. Someday, Captain, somehow I shall kill you. It's quite possible you've helped kill quite a few people already. Get on your horse, Senora. Sandoval, the senora will no longer be with us. Well, I think that's a very good thing. But the lieutenant likes her. Well, lieutenant likes all women. If we are lucky, we might be sent back as her escort. Do you think she will look at the mere corporal? Well, I can always look at her. Well, that's all you have done since we left the post. You admit it is better than looking at you. What? Oh! -ha! Thank you, Lieutenant. Marta! This is the valley you show me and map. We must be here ahead of Sandoval. I don't see his camp. This could be the wrong valley. The white man has poor eyes. I see horses there. Somebody and saddle these horses. I'll take half the men for a search party. You make camp and wait for me here. Good luck. Sounds 
funny coming from you. I was thinking of Sandoval. Juan Pedro, come with me. No. A guide by men. Let him find his own death. Well, Captain, what do you do about that? That's his privilege. Come on. You plan to kill my husband, don't you? Yes. The land is big. He will be hard to find. The trail is plain. But he is far ahead. One day, mules are slow. They go the long way. The trail is easy to lose. I will pay you well to lose it. You have traded with me many times. I've always been fair to you. A long time ago, your sister was sick. I nursed her back to health. That is why I did not kill you also. I need your help. These men are no friends of yours. Why should you guide them? I will lead them to the country of the Yaquis. Senora, was that Indian threatening you? No, he... He didn't threaten me. But I'm afraid of him, Lieutenant. I've known him for a long time. I don't trust him. He'll lead us into some sort of a trap. I would get rid of him. Wait here. You want to bring every Indian in the territory down on us? Put that fire out. There is no danger. Put that fire out. That's an order. I guide the white man. I do not take his orders. The lieutenant is a fool. Find anything? Nothing. They just disappeared. 
Unsaddle, get some rest. Lieutenant. The captain has not returned? Not yet. Are you worried about him, Lieutenant? Well, he's been gone a long time. Too long. I hope he doesn't come back. You don't mean that. I thought you didn't like him. I don't, but there's a limit to it. If the captain shouldn't come back, then you will be in command. I would like that better. Why? Perhaps you wouldn't treat me like a criminal. Perhaps. Lieutenant, if they did catch my husband with some guns, what would happen? Then you admit he has them. I admit nothing. I was just curious to what would happen. They'd put him in jail, providing they didn't hang him or shoot him first. And what would happen to me? Put you in jail, too. Would you like that, Lieutenant? Lieutenant. When we found them, he died on the way back. Indians? No, gun runner. He told you that? He didn't have to. Indians don't wear boots. There are also the tracks of many mules. What about the others? Thrown into the canyon where we couldn't reach them. Take care of them. You'd better get some sleep for a moment. We can get a day's rest before we start back. We aren't going back. You can't take a handful of men against the Yaki nation. It's suicide. The Yaki's haven't got the guns yet. They're not going to get them. Captain, you think my husband killed those men? Is there another way to think, senora? I know, Miguel. He would not kill anyone. A man who would sell guns to the Indians wouldn't hesitate to ambush Raleigh's. You have no proof of that. Sparza, get her out of here before I forget she's a woman. You can't frighten me. I'm not Captain. trying to frighten you, senor. I'm trying to save your life now. Get away from me. You better leave, senor. Well, what are you going to do with her? She's coming with us. You can't do that. Why can't I? Well, think of the danger. Danger? You made love to her, didn't you? Well, what's that got to do with it? Sandoval was a friend of yours, wasn't he? She didn't kill him. She didn't pull the trigger, if that's what you mean. Well, what do you want to do, hang her for something her husband's done? No, I don't want to hang her, but I want her to be there when I hang her husband. Looks pretty 
rough. Mules go the long way. We save day across mountain. Is there a way down? Wait here. Take a few minutes rest. Take a rest. Senor. After a day and a night without sleep. We'll make cap soon. The horses can't take it much longer. It's fortunate the captain has such consideration for animals. He has none for people. I've seen him on force marches before. To get nowhere like this one. The Indian is leading us wrong. How do you know? I traveled north once with my husband. The trail was not like this. If I had a map, I'd show you. I have a map. Tonight, when we make camp, I'll show you the right trail. Esposa! The master's calling. You want me, Captain? Sit down. I understand you had a run-in with the Indian. He refused to obey orders. As a civilian, he doesn't have to take our orders. Stay away from him. He'd better stay away from me. I said stay away from him. That's an order. I still think he's leading us into a trap. The Senora says that... Stay away from the Senora. Is that an order? No, that's just good advice. How many people pay attention to advice? Very few, but you're going to be one of the exceptions. Maybe you'd like to have it for yourself. Yes. I'd like to have her for my... At ease, men! No cause for alarm. That's something I owe you, Captain. You don't owe me anything. Just remember what I told you. Hey, Lieutenant, what was the shooting? The captain just saved my life. Now you owe him a great obligation. He doesn't seem to think so. A woman is no good on a trip. Well, all depends on the kind of a trip. I remember once when I was in San Javier, I... Yes, I remember. And once in Mioki, Maria. That's right. And once in San Andres, Pepita. Yeah. Now, how do you know all of these things? Oh, you told me about 20 times. <laughs> you talked to him for a long time. What did you talk about? You? And what did the captain say about me? That you're an evil woman and would destroy me. I would like to destroy the captain. What else? That I should stay away from you. You're disobeying an order. It wasn't an order. It was advice. So... I will not see you again? I don't know. Suppose I were to tell you I love you. I wouldn't believe you. It's true. Tonight I'll prove it to you. Mount up! Mount up! Tonight. It's one of her tricks. Get her back on her horse.
Juan Pedro, how many Indians? Two arrows, two Indians. Tomorrow, many Indians. What about tonight? Indian village, one day travel. No more Indians till the scout get back to village. You're not going to take his word for it, are you? Take care of the wounded. Vincent? Yes, sir. We may camp here. You two men, come with me. Yes, Captain. Be safe. your knife away. I give you back your life. I have no use for it. You call yourself an officer. When the fighting starts, give the lieutenant back his gun. Yes, Captain. told you the story of the girl I met in San Rafael? Again? Yeah. I never get tired of hearing it. 
You see, the first time I... <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Vincent. Sing. Con su guitarra cantando se pasa noches enteras. Hombre y guitarra llorando a la luz de las estrellas. Después se pierde en la noche y aunque la noche es here. You must eat something. Why? It's customary. Your concern touches it's me. It's not a matter of concern. I don't want you falling off your horse again. You are very gallant. Take it. The condemned woman ate a hearty meal. Who wants to die on an empty stomach? Who wants to die? That's a good question, too. You seem very cheerful, Captain, you and your men. For the present? But tomorrow the Yaquis will come. I'll be surprised if they don't. Then why not leave while there's still time? Because I haven't found the guns yet. Oh, guns, guns. What difference do a few guns make in this ugly, filthy wilderness? There are people in this ugly, filthy wilderness, and people can be hurt. A one-man crusade to save Mexico? Senora. Have you ever seen an Indian raid on a farm or on a village? No, I haven't. I have. My whole family was wiped out by Indians. Indians with guns. I'm sorry to hear that, Captain. Truly sorry. Then help me, Senora. Help me to find those guns. But how can I help you? Please, Senora, let's be honest with each other just for once. What if my husband and I were connected in this Gun smuggling, as you call it. Would the smuggling stop if we stopped? There would be others to sell guns. They would be stopped, too. Don't be naive, Captain. No one has ever stopped people from making money. Personally, I see no evil in wanting to better one's lot. It's natural to want possessions and comfort. A real home in a civilized community instead of living a life of drudgery in this horrible place. But that would require the sale of a lot of guns, wouldn't it? You know, Captain, up to a point I find you amusing. Then you become a bore. And now if I have your permission, I'll say good night. Good night, Senor. Sleep well. Go where? I'll show you. First, you must get the horses. I'd be a deserter. They'd hunt me for the rest of my life. Who would be left to hunt you? The Yaquis will get them all. Are you thinking of the men? Are they friends of yours to turn on you the way they did? You owe them nothing. Besides, they'll die even if you stay. Please, darling. I don't want to die. Take me away. There's only one sentry with the horses, and there are two saddles right there. We 
right here. Can't you sleep, Lieutenant? No, it's a long night. Yes, sir, I understand. You got a match? I'm sorry, sir. I have no matches. Lieutenant Esparza and the woman... I know, I know. I saw them leave. Oh, I don't understand this, Captain. They'll lead us where we want to go. Oh. I'm going ahead. You follow with the men. That's north. Now, we should be about right here. We travel west. No. We travel north to there. It's only a few miles. But that takes us deeper into the Yankee country. Of course. That's where the rifles are being delivered. Wait, wait. Let me explain. Please believe me. This is the only place we'll be safe from the Yankee. With my husband. Your husband? Yes. As soon as the guns are delivered and we have the money, I will never see him again. I swear it. As soon as we have the money. We'd better go. Yeah. Look. Don't you 
your gun. You fool. You're a deserter now. They'll shoot you for that. Do you hear me? They'll shoot you. I know. What are you going to do now? Wait for Ramona. What happens to me? I guess you'll have to wait, too. Don't you run, Senora? <laughs> Take a look, Senora. No. No. Take a look. No. Take a good look. No. no. And remember. For the rest of your life, remember. <laughs> Cut him down. Oh. Hurry, hurry. Can you hear me? Where? Where is Chavez and the ammunition? Where? In... India. All ruins. In your ruins? Five miles. Five miles, yes. Two. 
of the West. We've got to get to that ammunition before the Indians. You need no guy from here. I go back. Juan Pedro. If I were a man of any brains, I would go back with him. Hey! a false move. We must stop them like the others. your guns. Get them all inside and hold them there. Soon. Very soon. Where's the ammunition? Where is it? In the small house. Outside. Blow it up. No. It is the only chance we have. The Indians need it. We can bargain with them. Why should they bargain for something they can get for nothing? Blow it up. Yes, Captain. You don't know what you're doing. They will kill us all. You should have thought of that before you came here. Came here knowing he could be killed? Yes.
Anybody else want to leave? All right, get in the chapel. Captain, my men would like to have their rifles. Why? They want to protect themselves. Were well, the farmers who were killed with the rifles you sold the Indians able to protect themselves? Who are you to decide? Who are you to deny a man the right to defend himself? All right, go on and defend yourself the way the farmers did, with your bare hands. Sit down. Everything's quiet. Too quiet. Ah, oh, this I do not like. I personally am a man of action. You'll get plenty of action in the morning. <laughs> By that time, I may change and become a man of peace. <laughs> Have I ever told you the story of Lupita, the girl from San Rafael? No, you haven't. I told it to Munoz 50 or 60 times. Maybe he got tired of hearing it. I'm sorry about Munoz. What difference does it make, Captain? It's only a matter of a few hours. Tell me about Lupita, Vincent. Well, sir, she was a very pretty girl. She... Listen. Wardrobes. Did you hear that, Captain? It's a war dance. The dance will last longer than the war itself. I think so. This is the time, Miguel. The time for what? The Indians will be having their war dance now. Not all of them. Enough of them. We can hide from them, Miguel. In the brush along the river. Tomorrow they will kill the rest. Then they will leave. But his entries. You know where the Rurales put your guns. They're unguarded. I will talk to the captain to keep his eyes away from them. Go very carefully, Miguel. Late, Senora. I felt restless. And your husband? Asleep. A man with a clear conscience. In that case, you should be asleep, too. I'm not that fortunate. At least we can talk now, Captain. For the last time. The fact I'm sure neither of us will regret. I'm sure of that. Since this is the last time, I would like to tell you something. 
I loathe you. It will be almost a pleasure to die knowing that you'll be dead, too. Thank you, Signore. You have expressed my own feelings very clearly. You're surprised, aren't you, Captain? At what? That I haven't asked forgiveness for my sins. I'd be very disappointed in you if you had. Raise your hands, Captain. I have a gun. Put the gun down. It isn't loaded. Good night, Senor. The sun will soon be rising. Good night, Captain. A pleasant journey. Thank you. And the same to both of you.